Good evening, everyone. And from today, we will start a series for your MA in English entrance exam for different universities of India, including state and uh, central governments. Okay. So if I talk about private, then in private universities, uh, entrance tests, tests are not uh, often held. So I won't tell anything about that. So now let's try to uh, know about uh, the pattern of questions that were asked in the entrance exam. So uh, you all know that uh, in entrance tests, questions are asked in MCQ mode. And most of the entrance test exam that are held uh, by computer-based exam. So nowadays, pen and paper, that mode is gone. OMR seat that is to gone. Now you have to click by mouse uh, within a examination center. Okay, so you can also edit your answer uh, option if it is computer based. So that is a good thing for you. Now let's try to read the first question. Uh, this paper now we are discussing. This is a pattern of. DU means not Dibrugar, it is of Delhi University. Okay, uh, Delhi University is a central university and it was held in computer mode. That's why you will get here look option ID 15806. This is all question ID means uh, this kind of uh, thing will be there if it is what do you call it computer based. Okay, so the question is first question is the, there will be question ID of a question and there uh, and each option will carry its own unique. Uh, Answer ID. Clear? So the first question is, name the only dramatist who was awarded both the Nobel Prize and the Oscar. So now we have to uh, find out who who had won both Nobel, Nobel Prize and Oscar. Number one is given Arthur Miller. Oh, sorry, George Bernard Shaw. Second is given Arthur Miller. Third is given Tennessee William. And fourth is given none, none of these. So if you, so these kind of questions are fact best. If you know, then you know. Here you cannot... Uh, use your any creativity to find out the meaning or find out the answer of the question, right? So that's why you have to also know about the author's background. That's why I always say that you have to also check author's biography and author's uh, remarkable works, okay? So uh, if you know, uh, then please comment in the comment box. So the so its answer is number one, Jers Barnard. So he was the a uh, writer who has won both Oscar and what do you call it? Nobel Prize. The num number second, the statement, character is destiny, it is predominantly associated with. Here, three options is given. Heraclitus, B, Shakespearean tragedy, C, Asiclius. Now we have to choose the correct answer from the option given below. Number A, number B, now number C only or number four, both A and B. So the correct one will be number uh, both A and B, num number four. Heraclitus and Aeschylus. Okay. These two uh, are predominantly associated with character is destiny. Clear? So very tough questions are asked. So that's why you have to go, go through last year paper to more, to know more. Okay. Then now let's go to number three. Number three is asking, pick the old one out of the, pick the old one out among the following. Which one will be the correct one? So you, you have to find out the old one. Number one is given Malgudi. Old means that is not common or uh, not that is similar. Then number two, Yokna Patuafa County. Number three, Barson Sire. Number four, Middlemarch. So what will be the correct one? Answer is Malgudi. All two, all the rest options, two, three, and four, these all are same. And in which way these are same, that you have to find out by yourself. If you type on Google, in Google, then uh, this all thing will come out. And from there, you will know. Okay. Then number four, identify the correct statement. A dollhouse is a play by Henrik Ibsen. Okay. Num number B is saying, the dollhouse is a short story by Catherine Mansfield. Now we have to find out the correct answer from the option. Which uh, number one is given that A only, number B is saying B only, number three is saying A and B only, number four is saying none of this. So which one will be the correct one? 
which are the correct one according to me a doll house is a play by henrik ibsen it is correct and the doll house is a short story by katherine mansfield that i don't don't know let's find out the answer so answer is a and b only a and b only that that means three option three is correct okay means both are correct now let's find out another question answer which of this is type of content word noun number a option is noun number b is demonstrative pronouns number c is interrogative pronouns number d pre prepositions question is which of these is a type of content word answer is uh option are given c only a only b and c only a and d only so the correct one is a only content word is noun okay and num number six the tragic hero is not deprived or sorry deprived deprived or vicious but he is also not perfect and his misfortune is brought upon him by his own we we have to now here fill up this thing so options are given number a one peripheria number two anagnosis number three hemersia number four catharsis so these all are connected with drama so the correct one will be hemersia now what is hemersia that you find out from the google okay and i would also recommend here that you have to know every literary device and every genre of literature from play drama play or play or drama same poetry novel this all thing sonnet like that and you find out all will be in google you just check and if you read that then this kind of question will be e easy for you here i will not uh, explain it it, it will uh, consume my time so let's go on now number 7 is saying uh here this is given then it is saying was initially a literary and philosophical movement it is a school of uh, thought premise on the idea of uh, language as an opaque medium that does not connect an actor with an outside truth but to a structure with parts whose meaning is culled from the parts contrast with each other so here four options are given number one is dialogism psychoanalysis post structuralism number 4 is formalism so the and the correct answer is post structuralism so here post structuralism will fit so the answer will be post structuralism was initially a literary and philosophical movement it is a school of thought premise on the idea of language as an opaque medium that does not connect an actor with an outside truth but to structure with with parts whose meaning is culled from the parts contrast with each other number 8 will all a uh, great neptune's ocean wash the blood clean from my from my hand no this my hand will rather the multitudinous seas in cardine making the great one red the above lines are an example of so these kind of questions are often asked and it is related to uh, literary de devices like simile then hi hyperbole alliteration like that and four options are given oxymoron alliteration syndosy then hyperbole so the correct one will be hyperbole so hyperbole means you all know uh, here i will not uh, what do you call it explain it, it will take them you just search it in google and from there to you will get an, another term and that will benefit you now let's try to know about nine arrange the following sentence in the proper order and choose the correct answer from the given options the uniqueness of a also the changes it may have suffered b in physical conditions over the years c the work of art includes d the changes in its township choose the correct answer from the option given below a b d c c d a b a b c d b s c d so correct answer we will be c d a b means number 2 c d a b first well will be c the work of art includes the changes in its ownership also the changes it may have suffered in physical condition over the years so you have it is just like a jumble word you have to uh, now reorder those words in a sentence in a meaningful sentence so this kind of questions also asked you have already seen and this is the last year paper of uh, previous year paper of delhi Uni university now number 10 which of the following statements is incorrect in context to magical realism so there are many genres of uh, novel drama poetry so you have to know the basic uh, genres that's why i request you to go through it you search the, in the google then it will pop out so here many options are given we have to find out the one the correct one number one is given magic realism is chiefly a north american nar narrative strategy that is characterized by the matter of fact inclusion of fanatic or mythical elements into seemingly realistic fiction number second is saying it is a natural outcome of post-colonial writing which must make sense of at least two separate realities there are reality of the conquerors as well as uh the 
that of concord number three sin there is a distortion effect in the in the very fiber of the prose that forces the reader to question what is real and often opens up avenues of reality we may not have thought possibly possible before reading the story number four prominent among the magic realists are uh, gabriel garcia marquis george amado george luis boros julio cortazar and isabel allende so which one will be the correct one number four it is correct according to me okay so um, uh, answer is i'm wrong so the answer will be magic first one magic realism is chiefly a north american strategy that is characterized by the matter of fact inclusion of fantastic or mythical elements into seemingly realistic fiction so these kind of questions are asked okay now let's try to know more Number 11, here the question is, arrange the following sentence in the proper order and choose the correct answer from the quotes given below. So this, let's, we will discuss in our next video.